Chris, thank you. The city of Lexington may be getting closer to filling in the pit in the middle of downtown Lexington. A letter sent by a lawyer for the city of Lexington sets a deadline for work on the long delayed center point development. Jennifer Plumbo is at the live desk with details. Jennifer? Sam, attorney Mason Miller sent this letter dated February 19th to Maxim Crane Works in Pennsylvania, the company that owns the two cranes on the Center Point site. The letter warns the crane company that if work on the three level underground parking garage doesn't resume by March 30th, LFUCG intends to exercise its right to complete the restoration work, fill the site, and return the property to its pre excavation condition. This letter comes nearly two weeks after the latest developers decided to back out. UK law student Matt Collins had teamed up with Bridgeton Holding Properties from New York to take over the $166 million project. Mason Miller sent a letter to the council on February 11th outlining the agreement with developers through a timeline of the plagued project that started in 2008. It included all of the extensions given to the web company. Miller also explained in that letter that if the garage was not finished by March 30th or the property restored to its pre-construction condition, the city has the right to fill in the hole itself. It also said the city can seek up to $4.4 million in reimbursement and foreclose on the property if they don't get reimbursed. At the live desk, Jennifer Palumbo, WKYT. Now we did call the crane company for a comment, but no one has returned our call.